this is about to get so relatable okay so i have been listening to disney songs for the past hour and a half right just like you do and then i came across shrek and shrek 2 they have great soundtracks except for this one song and it's the song called i need a hero at least in the movie the original is by jennifer saunders apparently and it's called holding out for a hero now this song is fun it's catchy i love the tune i love the beat i love the way they animated the fairy godmother singing this and it <laughs> and they use it ironically in the film which is the best part because the fairy godmother singing it is trying to make okay if you haven't seen Shrek 2, I'm sorry, I'm spoiling it for you because this is right at the end. Anyways, Daisy, the fairy godmother is singing this to show that her son, Prince Charming, is the right one for Fiona. And the whole point of it is he isn't. And that Shrek, the not typical hero, is the one that she needs. So. I just took a look at these lyrics and I was laughing but also kind of cringing because I did not realize just kind of just how stereotypical this expectation of men is like he's got to be strong and he's got to be fast and he's got to be fresh from the fight what fight I'm sorry, but that's just so stupid to expect all types of a certain gender to behave a certain way, no matter who you're talking about. So I decided to write a parody about it, and it, well, it, it's now midnight. <laughs> At any rate, I'm naming it I Need a Hufflepuff because if that doesn't send my message across, I don't know what will. So. Basically, I got the first verse done, and I'm starting on the chorus. I will not sleep tonight, but it's fine. It's fine. Why do you need sleep when it's on a Friday night, you know? That's not necessary to live. At any rate, I'm having fun, <laughs> and I wanted to share that. In other news, I have been actually productive today on working I went to a cafe and did work, and had lunch, and had hot chocolate. The hot chocolate was fantastic. I love the hot chocolate at this cafe. It's now like my kind of cafe where I go and eat, and they know me now, and they say, hi, how are you? It's really nice. It's really nice. Do I still have that lip gloss on? I put on lip gloss earlier, and my lips are so shiny. I used a makeup wipe to get it off. Oh well, it'll come off eventually. Anyway, cafe. So, I love this cafe that you get a sandwich, a drink, and a dessert. And then for a euro more, you get a hot drink afterwards. I usually get tea. I usually get my green mint tea. Except on days where I know I'm going to be stressed. Today was one of those days. If you didn't see my last video, <laughs> it, it explains more. Basically, I said, today is a hot chocolate day. Today is a hot chocolate day. And it's funny because the waiter or the person behind the cash register was like, why do you never get coffee? And I'm sitting here like, do I explain that I have ADHD and that it makes me tired? Or do I just say I don't like it? I went with telling him I just didn't like it. <laughs> Because I can't do it. Can't deal with it. It's too long of an answer. There are people behind me waiting to pay for their stuff. I mean, it was really nice of them to ask. It really was. But I'm sitting here like, Honey, I'm trying to turn in these papers. I had something called a Santez. I have a Rondu Compte coming up. I had my whatever thing for one of my classes. I don't even know what to call it. It's a redaction. It's a redaction. I had my passport cultural. All of these things. And then, of course, I have my two 
presentations coming up. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. And I'm not sure when they are, but it's fine. Totally fine. Anyway, I bought tea to save me, basically. T to, to save me. <laughs> But yeah, I gave myself a face mask tonight too, just to help me calm down. It's this, it's green and it looked really weird on my face, which is why I'm glad I'm not wearing it now. That would have scared y'all. But yeah, apparently it's a purifying mask with clay. It felt nice. I watched and listened to music while I had it on my face and now I feel kind of plump and soft, which is what it's supposed to do, I think. I don't know. I also have had a lot of Nutella today. A lot of Nutella. It's kind of sad. I don't know if it was just stress eating or because I said I need to treat myself. But that happened. And then... Let's see. I'm going to the beach tomorrow. I'm treating myself with a trip because I have this ticket and I'm going to see the ocean and a fishing town that's really pretty and I'm gonna go and have a good time and not worry about it because I did work today and you have to go easy on yourself sometimes. So I'm doing that and I shall take pictures because if I don't my mother will run across the Atlantic Ocean. She she will do it. She will run through Portugal, through Spain, reversing the Saint Jacques de Coquille, Compostelle, whatever thingy, through Spain and France to get to Montpellier and slap me upside the head. And she'll do it. So I'm gonna take pictures. I'm gonna have a good time and it's gonna be great. And I will see you with an update on that tomorrow. I apologize for the extreme randomness of this video, but it is midnight, and I'm writing a Disney parody because I can. Welcome to my life! Hashtag just Megan things. Jesus lord. Oh, and I did completely steal that from Dan is not on fire, but I'm not even sorry. Night, everybody! <laughs>